Hello, beautiful people. Most welcome to the page here on GBC News. This is where we do chit chatting. This is where we get to soon matter when it comes to sports development. Today, we're still focusing on tennis development and we're looking at the grassroots level and we're using the St. Francis Foundation as a test case because uh, no long ago they produced or they gave Ghana one of the or some of the champions that went to the AJC, that's the Africa Genius Championship that brought in gold. And this is not their first time of producing players. And so today we have uh, been blessed to have the the, the coach, the founder, the leader of uh, the St. Francis uh, Foundation. Uh, they do tennis and so many stuff, uh, trying to change lives. And then also one of the executive members really walk us through uh, what drives them. Uh, because this is not the first time they're doing this. They've, they've been doing it over and over again. And they've been getting kids and developing them from the grassroots. And so the number of kids right now, I hear it's more than 80. So we'll talk more about it and see how uh, support can come in for them and then help them to also produce more talent for the nation. So to my immediate left, I have an executive committee member uh, with the St. Francis Foundation is Victor. Victus. Yes, Victus Gijono. Gijono uh, is in the house, uh, a very affable gentleman. Uh, mm. Don't worry about his smile, that's how he is. <laughs> uh, he'll be smiling for you. And then mm -hmm. the man himself, who is popularly known as uh, Bob Boy, He's coach. We all know him as coach, but he's here. Uh, coach Francis. <laughs> Should I continue with the rest? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have Coach Francis as I remain in the house and uh, the World Boy stuff. Anyway, it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. Coach and uh, uh, Victor, most welcome to the page here. Thank you very much for making time in my studio. Coach, let me start with you. I want to talk about the Saint Francis Foundation. What is it with you that? Uh, keeps you guys going. What do you really do? Is it only about tennis or the other things that you do? Thank you so much for this opportunity, mm. GBC, and we hope other media stations will give us this opportunity to bring sports to the limelight. Mm. St. Francis Foundation are in for vulnerable kids. Okay. You know where we come from, a shy man. In those days, we know the life of the people of a shy man. So we sat down and decided to give a change, a new life to the people of Ashama, especially the youth. Mm. And as you can see, we have most talents in Ashama that you cannot explain for now. Wow. We talk about Stone Boy, mm. uh, most of the players, Abu Idrisu, and a whole lot of them coming from Ashama. Now we are bringing out other kids in tennis and mm. sports and we want to use the St. Francis Foundation want to use the power tool of sports to bring up these kids who will be going wayward mm. want to take them away from the streets and give them a good life Great. so that is what we are all about we just don't want the kids to live a very bad life so we are giving them a good social life so that they can fix into society. So how many, how many years has your foundation been in place and how did you start? Initially, it was a community-based organization. Okay. And we started from the Catholic Church, St. Augustine Catholic Church, Ashama. So at a point, the church realized that most of the kids were not coming to church. So we form a, a group named Friends of the Youth mm. by one German lady called Akosia Helga. Mm. So she supported some of us, you know, to organize ourselves and bring out those kids who are not coming to church. Okay. And we realized that there was an activity going on in football, which was preventing those kids coming to church. So we took advantage and formed a team, football team, name it saint augustine holy stars okay yes and out of that we had very good talented footballers we continued they were a coast division from there we formed the saint augustine uh, holy stars ladies okay yes and uh, in fact when we started we produced a lot of uh, world class players like kulu yaya who is now in the u.s she also played for the black queens 
and US 1999. Wow. So we started then as a CBO, community based organization, helping the youth around. And now we turn it into tennis when we launch St. Francis Foundation. Because the church realized that for the foundation to be sustained, all we have to do is we have to get people to lead these kids into the limelight. Mm. So we form it 18th of November 2012, St. Francis Foundation was launched at St. Augustine Catholic Church. So this, this passion now, that the hunger for tennis, where did it come from? Hunger out of tennis came from Techima, the Buno region. Mm. There's this man called Owen. Seeing us playing table tennis, one day invited us into his house. Owen and Aisha, I Owen, we have a school there. So this man uses as a tool to develop kids in tennis in mm. Techima. Okay. So he gave me some balls. I went to some schools, and then we tried to improvise mm. a tennis court, and you know, a, 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 how do we call it? A stick, an ordinary tennis court for the kids to play. So we used wooden rackets, and then gave to the kids to play tennis. Before we realized, within two, three months, the kids were up. He organized a competition for the schools. Mm. There were five schools. And the schools came out with talented tennis players in those days. But a short while, I left Techiman. I came to Accra, precisely Ashawa, and I thought it wise to develop kids in this situation. Great. And so that has led you. We'll come to the products that you've been able to, or the talent you've been able to harness. But let me come to Victor's. Um, as an executive committee member or an executive mm -hmm. member, what drives this your foundation? How do you do it? Because the kids are plenty from various backgrounds. How do you manage to get them all together, train them through, walk us through something? Fabulous. I think it's very amazing. What's basically happening is that most of these kids, mm -hmm. because the foundation does not actually demand the kids to come and pay any money of a sort. So whilst the other kids are training, you see kids trooping in. Great. They don't even come with their parents. And when they come, uh, we just ask them, what do you want to do? They say they want to play tennis. They come in tattered clothes. Some don't even wear the required tools. Then they are on court. After three, four, five weeks, you see that they are showing potentials. Then even sometime up to eight, one year, one, eight by one year, their parents are not even on. <laughs> so they just come in every day. Yeah. And when they can, you know the, the, the sport is quite demanding. Mm. You have to get them food, water. At the point, we have been organizing food for them in the morning. Wow. Get them water. I so, don't have <laughs> so the thing has become like a, 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 an academy stuff. Yes. Where you're you feeding them, yes. uh, giving them the education. Uh, church is, 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 is grooming them at the moral way, then giving them the talent, developing their talent. Basically that. Wow. And that is still the case. We're trying to even get parents to form an association to back them. It's not really working. Mm. But what we are saying is that the kids are so talented that you cannot allow them to go back home. So, and we are all seeing the results now. I think since 2014 or so, they have been participating in it tournament. Is. They go to Nigeria, Togo, and Morocco. this is not the first time they've even qualified for the All African Games. Wow. <laughs> they, they, so that, your products yes. joined the other products to push Ghana to, to excel. Exactly. And that's what you've been doing. Yes. And that, that has been driving us. Wow. So we have some other people who come in, adult players who come in, and all they do is they just don't come to play now. They have to contribute their Windows might. And that is what is fueling all of us. Great. Yes. So I, I was coming to that one, uh, mm. Francis. Uh, how, how, how do you really rely on only, I was going to say rely on only the church to really do it, but yeah, I said that other people come in. But personally, looking at driving all your resources to kids that quote unquote, um, you are not blood related to, but just that you've seen a passion, let me support these people. And you keep pumping in your resources. Where do you get the returns from? How do you make money to pump into this one? Interesting. You see, whatever you want to do for society, whatever you want to give out, God give it back to you. 
And that is the story of St. Francis of Assisi. He said, it is in giving that we receive. Mm. And it is in pardon that we are pardoned. I have a small photo studio that gets me a little income. So I find a way to put in some of these kids, especially those who have completed school, like SS, when they finish SS, and they are preparing to go to uh, the tertiary, you know, they need some, something small. So we've trained some of the kids as photographers. So meaning, aside the, the sports wing, uh, mm -hmm. teaching how to play football, table tennis, long tennis, uh, athletics here and there, you also give them an opportunity, train them in yes. other skills. Yes. Yes. Ooh. We train them as photographers. And aside the photographers, now we're able to get Tennis Foundation, which is also a foundation with the Tennis Fraternity. So they brought people to come and help them, train them how to restrain their own rackets. Ooh. Because at a point, we realized that they were facing some challenges when the rackets are torn. Mm. They get off track. They don't come to training. You ask them, why are you, at, why are you not at training? So my racket is torn. My, my string is torn. So we try to get them a red string machine. But like we are saying, out of the small way, and most of our executives, the senior executives who play tennis on our court, Razak Ingula, Emmanuel, Adu, Titi, Tifilo Stey, uh, Honorable, a few of them to mention. One, Mr. Yongche. They organize themselves in such a way that when they see that the growing is getting tough, they are always there for us. Okay. Now, le let's walk through the, the, the product. Uh, not long ago, Ghana was in Benin. Uh, it has been trumpeted over and over again. Um, how many of your players went to Benin? Well, since its inception, our players each year from Inception, that's 2014. We produce players every year for the as I said, Federation. Okay. 2014, we had two players. They were 10 years, Kezi Adokache and uh, Michael Dusu. They went to represent Ghana, and in the doubles, they reached the finals, okay. which was a, a plus for them. Then the following year, we had five players who went to play for Ghana in Abuja, Nigeria, and they also did very well. Then 2016, we had seven players to represent uh, Ghana out of the tw uh, 12 players. We produced seven players out of the 12 players. Wow. 2017, 2018, we did same. And we are dominating in almost every aspect of the game when we talk about Ghana youth tennis. The recent one, the Benin one. Mm -hmm. The Benin one, these young boys you see, uh, the copper colored one in the short, he schools with a Queen Scott. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he was lucky and we are happy for so Sister Ivy on, Queen. On, on our screens, uh, this is the coach, uh, the tall one, mm -hmm. the one in the middle. The one, the one who is serving the cup the itself. Cup. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. He's it's your product. Yeah, it's our product. He schools at Queen's Court. Mm -hmm. And he's on scholarship. Wow. We are very grateful to Queen's Court for giving this boy a scholarship. Wow. And he's an icon to the school. So what we did is because of his attitude, he's a very brilliant child too. Because of his attitude, the school access to support them in their sporting activities. Wow. So we go to the school. We train other kids in the school, in tennis, uh, soccer, uh, basketball, and table tennis, wow. and volley. Mm -hmm. And in fact, when you see these kids having uh, uh, their training session, you will just enjoy it. When it he was here, he, he said he wants to be a doctor. <laughs> it's ambition, very, very ambitious. Mm -hmm. And you are, you are laying the fact that he's brilliant. So the discipline with the sports, the church and everything 
earning that scholarship and he's dreaming of becoming adding tennis to what he wants to become mm. so a double-minded guy now at this age playing tennis at this higher level producing excellent results mm. winning gold for ghana at the uh, juniors level mm. and dreaming that after that i will still be a doctor it's trying to link up with the the, the european standards and <laughs> the, uh, it's it's really interesting yeah, that's so that, that is yes. what you've done but you see we saw boy somebody who asked that so what of the girls you mentioned one or two girls do you have more girls in your camp yes 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 i think we can <laughs> count over 25 girls uh, in fact whilst we were coming here i counted the senior girls i counted not less than 15. Wow. quite a number of them are in the university i think one is at ips uh, playing, playing for the school. Wow. We have uh, one at Legon. Mm. In fact, three. Three of them at Legon as we speak. And I think two of them are actually preparing. Girls to you, you, yes. you, you saw? Yes. You inspired? Yes. Aside the game, decided that academically I'm brilliant. I'll continue. I'll pursue. And they are there. That's the other thing. So, you see, we are just not playing tennis. So, like the of uh, the other executive that he mentioned. What we basically do is that we know that tennis take away some time from the kids. Mm. So when we come on court, we try to inspire them. We try to get them on academics as well. Mm. So we ask them questions. We try to make them feel that they are important. So whilst they are playing, we call them aside. Can you help us understand this? We ask them questions, quiz here and there, and it does the magic. So when they go back to school, in fact, I was talking to one of them recently. So there are two of them that are actually trying to get admission at KNUST. Mm. One of them want to become a medical doctor. Wow. So, so I we, meaning that yes. St. Francis then you are producing, <laughs> you'll be producing all our doctors for us oh, yes. uh, through your sports. Wow. Yes. So I asked her, do you want to do sports or you want to actually? So no, I want to become a medical doctor, but I love the game. Wow. So she's actually trying to get admission as we speak. So I think it's just not about the game. And we also see that the game actually make them smarter. Great. Okay, so I think that's what we are pushing now. Okay, yes. so uh, let, let's look at the, the other aspect that people talk about. The, the inadequate, I'll call it inadequate support from central government mm. to you. Do you really receive support from, I'm not hitting the Ghana Tennis Federation, but I just want to know, you are affiliated to the Ghana Tennis Federation. Mm. They know the existence of St. Francis uh, Foundation. You produce tennis talent. Do you get support from the Federation? Yes, once a while the Federation support us with balls and uh, rackets. Okay. Yeah, and they are most support, especially uh, with this team, Mr. a Dria and Filipina and their team. What they also do is they are focused to where they can get talents. You understand? Okay. So most of the time they fall on us and they go around. And initially, when our players were dominating in the game, people didn't understand why maybe most of our players are going for the AJC, the okay. African Junior Championship. So what the uh, Federation decided was now, if there is any uh, uh, tournament to be played outside, you have to come and justify your inclusion. Okay. And when our kids go, they, they always they dominate. Excel. And then they do it. Yes. So where, where exactly does uh, this basic thing come in when we talk about supporting you guys to do more? Currently, you have more than 80 mm -hmm. uh, students or, let's say, people in your academy. Mm -hmm. As I do, those who are schooling and stuff like that. You have 80 you are taken care of now. Now, how do you intend supporting them and sustaining them uh, for the uh, next uh, decade or so? How do you intend doing it? What plans have you put in place to make sure that this foundation really lives and lives more to give us more of our tennis stars? Let me start from you and come to him. As an executive, what plans do you guys have in place now to sustain this thing you're doing? Okay, so uh, strategically, I think uh, it's becoming more challenging to take care of the kids because initially when we started, we can boast of 20, 25 kids. And I mean, we have one court, a court that actually have to get all of them kicking the ball every day. So now that they are above 80, in fact, we have younger ones from the age of even five today to six, seven, they are, all, they are very vulnerable. So what's happening is that we are unable to actually map up a plan to get all of them trained on one court. So the thinking is that if we can get, in fact, we've, we tried, but we just haven't 
made a breakthrough here to counter the assembly and see if they can. Because a place like a Shaiman, by now you should have a community center. Because the church, as we speak, has a community, has a center where they play football, basketball. That's that's the facility we are using today. But as an institution or as a, as a country, we should have a facility like that. But in the short term, mm -hmm. it will be good to have another court. Okay. Okay. Even if uh, uh, they come to the church facility, because we have the land, and even they help with one more court, that will help. That will be the, 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 the key thing exactly. to let you go. Yes. So, Mr. Francis, I just want to ask you before we check out from the studio. What is this one thing that you wish for yeah. after these discussions that we have? Yeah. Um, we'll come to you to really help you do more for the youth of this country. Yeah. Well, God has given us the passion to do this work. People are watching. St. Francis for Nation, we don't like begging. Mm -hmm. But at this stage with COVID, we want people to see what we have done mm -hmm. and then give us the support. You have the commercial banks, eco banks, all over Ashaiman, Francophones and other uh, the same companies. And so corporate Ghana. Corporate Ghana. We want them to come on board. And they will never regret because the type of keys that we have, even when it comes to advertising, we can use these kids and they'll give them marvelous advertising. Okay. So we are calling on corporate body to come and support us because we need courts, not a tennis court. We need tennis courts. <laughs> okay. So we want a recreational faci fa facility which will help us, you know, to do to, more. To do more. For you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, we will post it here. We'll get another time to come and talk more about this great initiative you are doing. So, um, how to develop tennis and tennis development in this country. The St. Francis Way is what we're talking about. And these are the gentlemen really doing it. This is where we draw the curtains. Uh, thank you very much for doing the watching. I know I've stimulated your thoughts. A racket will do, a ball will do, a plain shoes will do. So, if you have plain shoes out there for children, please look for St. Francis. Just come there. Your food. They will not reject it. Your cash, they will not reject it. Even your mumu, when you send them, they will get a mumu account for you. I'm Theophila Sampadas in the page. Uh, thank you very much for doing the watching the page. You change same time tomorrow. Bye for now.